Two wires are tied to the 3 kg sphere shown below. The sphere revolves in a horizontal circle at a constant speed. For part A, we're asked to find for what speed the tension is the same for both wires. So we have two wires. The top one I'll label A, and the bottom one I will label B. And we're given that the tension in A is equal to the tension in B. Now part B asks us to find what the tension is. And I think we can just go ahead and do that first. Because this should be relatively simple. We have a balance of forces where we have the weight acting downwards. And in the opposite direction, we have the vertical component of tension. So the net force in the vertical direction is zero. These forces are balanced. So we can say that T sub Y is equal to mg. And we can actually find mg. We have a 3 kilogram mass. 3 times 9.81, which is the value for g on Earth, gives 29.43. And T sub Y is going to be equal, since we have two wires, to T sub A sub Y plus T sub B sub Y. So we have to consider each wire individually. And I'll look at A first. For A, we have the tension in A, and we have two, com two components, the horizontal component of that tension and the vertical component of that tension. Now using trigonometry, we have sine of 60 equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is this right here. Hypotenuse is this. So what we end up getting is T sub A sub Y is equal to T sine of 60 degrees. And if we do that same thing for B, wire B here, well, instead of 60 degrees, we have 30 degrees because 60 degrees plus 30 degrees is 90. So we have T sine of 30 degrees. And as we said before, T sub Y is equal to MG, which is equal to 29.43. So let's just go ahead and solve this for t. Now I'm using t here because, well, usually this would be t sub a and t sub b, but they're equal to each other. So I'm just going to call it t. So sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. And sine of 30 degrees is just 1 half. And that is equal to 29.43. If we solve that, we're going to get T is roughly 21.54 newtons. And with correct significant figures, our answer for B will be 22 newtons. So that is B. All right, now let's look at A. For what speed is the tension the same in both wires? So this time, instead of looking at the vertical component, we're going to want to look at the horizontal component. Because we have the centripetal force, and the equation for that is equal to mv squared over r. And that has velocity in that. So speed is the magnitude of velocity. So we can just solve for the velocity here. We already have the mass as 3, three uh, kilograms. So we have 3v squared divided by r. So our next step is going to be to solve for r. And how can we do that? 
It might not seem intuitive at first, but we can use the law of signs. If I break this down, we have 30 degrees right here. We have 120 degrees right here. And then we have 30 degrees again right here, right? The interior angles of a triangle all add to 180. So sine of 30 degrees That's this right here. Sorry, actually, no, that's this one right here. And we'll use divided by 1, which is the opposite side, is equal to sine of 30 degrees. It's this right here. Divided by the opposite side. This one was B, and this side was A. And then lastly, we have sine of 120 degrees divided by A. Now, therefore, B is equal to 1, right? Because in order for this first part to be true, well, everything else is the same. So B is equal to 1. So now we have to find what A is equal to. Well, sine of 120 degrees divided by A is just equal to the square root of 3 divided by 2 all divided by a. And that's equal to sine of 30 divided by 1. Sine of 30 is 1 half. 1 half divided by 1 is equal to 1 half. So therefore, a is equal to the square root of 3. So now, how do I find r? Well. Let me just draw another triangle here. So we have this triangle right here. Now, my lines aren't exactly straight, uh, but hopefully you get the idea there. What we have is sine of 30 degrees equal to opposite over hypotenuse. This will be R. And this here is the hypotenuse, which length we found to be the square root of 3. Right, it's A. So we have R over A, or R over the square root of 3. So if we solve for R, sine of 30, and it's just going to be, what, square root of 3 over 2. Now, we can plug that back in here, right? Because we now have 3v squared over the square root of 3 divided by 2. So what we now need to find is what f of c is equal to. And we're just going to use kind of a similar process to what we did for part b. Instead of this time, instead of finding the vertical component, we're going to find the horizontal component. We can say that f of c is equal to t times cosine of 30 degrees. This time it's cosine instead of sine, right? Because we're finding the horizontal component plus t times cosine of 60 degrees. And this is actually equal to t sine of 60 degrees plus t sine of 30 degrees, which you might recall is what we were using earlier right there. So this is actually all equal to mg. So 29.43 is equal to mb squared over r. So if we bring that up right here, we have this all equal to 29.43.
and we can use this to solve for v. I'm going to bring this up there. If we solve this, we are going to get v equal to plus or minus 2.5. Nine one, roughly, and we're looking for speed, so it's just the magnitude of this. Our answer for a is going to be two point nine meters per second. Right, that is with two significant figures.